What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a top 10 player playing Risk Global Domination on PC. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do a fixed game every Friday and I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast on Wednesdays. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. And today, I am playing a a uh, five-player progressive game on Canada Advance with one AI, I was having a whole hell of a lot of trouble trying to fire a lobby. So, settings for today's game are uh, World Domination on Canada Advance, 60 second turns, Expert AI, and we have one to start progressive cards, Balance Blitz Dice, uh, no filtering of rank, no fog, no blizzards, and no alliances. In the first position, we have an expert AI. In the second position, we have General Clauswitz, 3858 from Germany, 94 hours played with 61 wins and 297 losses. In position three, we have General Thakar, 9231 from France, 21 hours played with 3 wins and 46 losses. In position four, we have Gerald Harry, 8671 from Spain, 108 hours played with 41 wins and 178 losses. I am in position five. This is the alt Pete account. Anything goes, 87 hours played with 146 uh, wins and 99 losses. Running it out, we have Judge Dredd. From Switzerland, great name, 75 hours played with a decent record, 42 to 93. All right, nobody stands out as particularly scary. I'm going to try and take British Columbia and see if anyone interrupts that plan. I bet you this Judge Dread fellow does. Okay, so white has gone for Northwest Territories, blue has gone for Greenland. Uh, Green is looking at Newfoundland and Labrador. Here's how the continents break down. In Canada, Advance Greenland's 5. Newfoundland and Labrador's a 3 for 5. Alaska's a 4. Yukon is a 2 for 3. These center uh, provinces, 5, 5, 4, 4, and 6 for Ontario. If you can hold United States, it's worth 10. If you can hold Quebec and the Maritimes, it's worth 8. Nunavut, also worth 8. But I would be having none of it. So... Let's just take my face a bit out of the shot. Yeah, that looks good. All right, purple goes in to Bath and Island. Yeah, I mean, it looks like I've been given the Alaska BC start. So I will play to that. And see if anyone would like to interrupt this plan. So BC is worth five. I have a road into Alaska, I have a road in to Yukon territory. If I will be allowed to hold BC, then I can get a foothold on the west of this map, and I'll start off really strong. It looks like Judge Dredd is going for Saskatchewan. <laughs> We'll either have a buffer zone of Alberta in between us, or he's also going to take Alberta. I will not be taking Alberta, right? I want to occupy the corner first. I figure the bot goes pop, pop, and finishes NWT. Yeah. And the bot now has one of those territories. Okay. So, that could be a problem for me. It could be a problem for red. I think my hedge here is I take Yukon and Alaska, but I don't guard any of it. And upside there is I'll be occupying a lot of territory. So even if I don't hold the bonuses, I'll still reinforce at a decent rate, and I won't be worried about guarding. Blue takes Greenland, which is worth plus five. Uh, notably, it's a lot larger than Saskatchewan is worth four. My my continent's worth five as well. I think I think swinging out and taking this corner is the correct play at this point in the game. Green finishes Northwest. Uh, Green finishes uh, Newfoundland and Labrador. Thinks about breaking, but doesn't. All right, we're seeing a lot of good neighbor theory. Surprisingly so. 
considering these players' records. Purple's in a bit of a spot. No continent and no real play for one. Looks like they're on the slow claim to none of it. Alright, I get to hold BC. That's five extra troops. I'm going to swing down from this two and up from this three. So the five stack moves into... Ooh, Washington State doesn't finish. Push through the bot's continent as well, because I don't want that bot holding. And now I have Alaska, Yukon Territory, and British Columbia. Someone should stop this, and I figure Red will. No. Red goes completely on the other side of the board. Cool. They guard Saskatchewan, they get their take and come back. If nobody stops me from spiraling out of the corner, I will be uh, basically impossible to defeat after the next turn. Let's see if the bot breaks me or the bot prioritizes retaking their continent. They break in Yukon. Okay. It's three troops. That actually might be a good thing. That might take the heat off me um, as far as my opponents can tell. Blue wastes no time for violating Green's border. Green is down to 12 troops. Green is down to 9 troops. Alright. Normally in this case, we would see the green player suicide into blue. But they don't have anything left. And they're at least two turns away from trades. Green is just dead from that one move. This is a very good move for blue. So it looks like me and blue are going to be on other sides of the map, and I can let them get really big and scary in the short term at least. And we can hope that either purple or red does something about it. Yeah, green of course retaliates, break one bonus, do they break the other? This is why you don't do that shit. So bad neighbor theory. Blue is 21 territories, they're going to put in 7 troops on the next turn, but they don't have any bonuses. All I do on my turn is I, I take out this bot. You can fight a bot and not piss off your opponents, and I still hold plus 5 and plus 4. Eventually I'm going to come across purple and red. I'm trying to delay how soon that occurs. I have two scary stacks, and I hold the three continents I was trying to hold last turn, but much better. Judge Dredd puts in an eight. That eight needs to go right into me, but until he does, I have no reason to creep on him. And we're going to let Judge Dredd, yeah, get cards over here. Sure, I'm going to just slowly take over more and more of the board. I have 24 territories, holding three continents. My next turn reinforcement is going to be 8 plus 5, 13 plus 3, 16 plus 4 is 20 troops. If I put in 20 troops on the fourth turn, I'm pretty much assured victory. Blue matches in. They're going to knock out green. Green's going to be the fishiest fish that ever did fish. We're going to see one, two, three, four, five, six troops remaining of green. Maybe red kills them for their cards at that point. Or purple. For that matter.
All right, we're so trying to take Quebec now. And they do like to roll 2v1s. Guards Greenland. All right, green putting in. Does green have a match on three? They bought. They do. That all goes into blue. From here, I think. Or do they go on the desperation and survival play? One take and hold. Oh, no, they're going to break me? <laughs> sure, why not? Someone had to do it. Hand the game to the guy that ruined yours. Interesting. Yeah. Blue says well played. He likes it. <laughs> Adorable. So I have 17 terrorists. I'm putting in six troops. There is only one response. To that sort of thing. Ooh, and purple holds none of it. I expect blue to break that. Now we're right back where we were. Except green doesn't have a trade. I chose to do it fast on purpose. As an intimidation play. I've had a good thing going on. Red. I would be surprised if blue doesn't break purple. I didn't break purple. I'd love for them to get their plus eight and catch up a little bit. Green is completely destroyed. Anyone could eat them at this point. Maybe the white bot does it this turn. Very interesting move by Green to match in and uh, destroy my bonuses instead of the guy who fucked his game over. Let's see, blue put in eat green there. Or just ruin my day completely. No, they expand. Okay, that's good for me. They piss off purple. I would expect purple doesn't do the same thing. And they use their trade to try and stop blue. This is good. Wasting troops on the bot? I like that. That's what I want to see. Red has the most troops at 45. <laughs> what are you going to do, Green? You try and break me again? Yeah, now you bought it out. Piece of garbage. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm glad you're dead. Purple holding five cards. Is that a possible line? Can I kill purple and green this turn? It's too early, right? close. I think we try it. Now we 
interrupt Blue's good time. Does this one connect to that one? No, it doesn't. Good to know. Only two cards they can't reciprocate their attack on, and I hold 55 territories. Red's gonna match in, and red's gonna punch me as hard as they can, but it's too little too late, and I have a match on three. I win this game very, very solidly. So, a um, couple of things that I've noticed about Canada Advanced you do want one of the two edges. Oh, red takes the bot. Alright, red's gonna match in. You want the edges. You want the West Coast or the Greenland, um, Newfoundland play. I feel like starting in the center territories is less likely to be successful. Still can work though. That breaks one of my bonuses. I break more than that, my friend. On my next turn, I eat white, and then I eat blue. Yeah, this board is much more about the continents than it is about the cards, and if you can establish a good position early and progressive, you can beat your opponents before the cards matter. Start punching blue already. It's finished. Trade. Let's continue. Does this territory connect? It does. This one does as well. Defeat blue. That's the game. Red is in two separated pockets. Gotta connect at that point. the match point 25 I have the entire board 30 yeah okay red matches in does their worst to me I clean up next turn and that's the game in my home and native land snow today for the first time I gotta go I gotta go to work looks like red bought it out no they're playing Gotta go to work and plow the snow. We're well played in a good game. There you are, sir. Yeah. Thanks, good game. GG, man. He knows he's dead. Excellent. <laughs> All right, and we had a great, uh, and he bought it out. We had a great uh, mutually beneficial arrangement. Me and Red didn't have to offend each other until it was too late. For to do anything about it. You clean it up. You it up. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, or maybe even a little educational and informative, defeating a novice, a beginner, an expert, and a master. 
Hope you all enjoyed, and until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.